You fool of a took! It's Gandalf week! Welcome to My Sketchy Habit. Hello, hello, my name's Patrick, I'm an artist. This is My Sketchy Habit, where we draw every day and we don't have to feel ashamed. Do you ever worry about your drawings? You think to yourself, ooh, I'm not very good. And so you don't draw? Well, here, we don't care. We are art positive people. And so we're gonna draw every single day, Monday to Friday. And if you wanna join me in that drawing, you more are, blah, blah, you are more than welcome to join me. In fact, every video is going to have a prompt that we do in the video and a prompt that we have at the end of the day where you can submit to the Discord your art to be featured in a video in the near future because my sketchy habit because my sketchy habit is nothing to be ashamed of and neither is yours. That's right, I'd love to see your art. It is Gandalf week here on My Sketchy Habit and we're gonna be drawing Gandalf and a bunch of style swaps of Gandalf. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun, so make sure you check out the videos to come. For now, let's get to drawing the OG Gandalf. That's right, we're drawing an image of Gandalf. Let's get going. Every good image starts with a sketch. That's right, and this one is no exception. So we wanted to get in there with the basics of our Gandalf by getting that sort of loose head shape, beard shape, and of course, his mystical and wonderful staff, which I suppose he uses for magic. I don't think he uses a lot of magic in the movies. In the books, I think he does some, but for wizards, you know, not a lot of magic being done. Anyways, we're working on getting the shapes in here for his cloak. He wears a scarf in the film version, and that's sort of where we're basing our image on. And so you can see me getting the scarf in here and trying to figure out how tall he should be, because height is a big deal in Lord of the Rings. And so you can see my loose lines landing here. I'm just trying to work out the basics of the pose so that I can get going on more detail. And so we're gonna do two layers of sketch on this one. The first one is this one where we're getting just the basics of the pose down. So we have sort of object in place to help us understand how the body is made up. And then from there, we're gonna transition into a more detailed version. Now, full warning, this face is crazy. It does not start uh, exactly how it ends, but it is, uh, you know, where we were. So you gotta show it, right? Because you can't be ashamed of your art. You can't be ashamed of your sketchy habit. It's perfectly fine. And yes, here are these eyes that really make, oh gosh, this Gandalf who they are. Ugh. <laughs> but we are not ashamed of our art. This is the sketch. We are learning and growing and making stuff go. So we got to get some beard shapes and some hair shapes in here. And of course, we need to get some hand shapes. Now, Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite movie trilogies. My favorite movie trilogy is Back to the Future. I think it's the best trilogy ever made. And arguably, people will argue differently. But I think it's the best trilogy out there. Lord of the Rings is probably my close second because I really like these movies and I like these books. I read them when I was very young and fell in love with this world. All of my sensibilities of what it means to be a wizard, but to have a fantasy world comes from the Lord of the Rings as it does for lots of people. And Gandalf, you know, he's my true wizard. Sure, we've got Dumbledores and Ghibli Glops and other wizards, Ice Kings and the like, but Gandalf, Gandalf wins my soul. And our Gandalf here is coming together rather nicely. You can see the final details of our sketch getting in here with his other hand. Sketches are important, but they don't have to be perfect. Oh, you know what that sound means. It's time for a game. Today, our game is quite simple. It's guess the image. I've drawn a picture here in about a minute, and it's your job to try to guess it as fast as possible. What time did it take for you to guess what this image was? I'd love to know, put it in the comments.
we're back to our drawing. It's time for us to do some line art here on our character. And of course, we need to fix some of the issues with this face. And so you can see me starting to get the pieces in there. Now, we won't get perfect on this face till near the very end. In fact, after we color, we're gonna do a little bit of liquefying using the liquefy tool to just sort of nudge the face into a better position. But hey, art is defined not by being perfect, but by getting it done. <laughs> Is that really what I want to say? I'm not sure, but we're getting the line art in here. Uh, I like to, right now in my work, get a lot of deep shadows on the side where the shadow is going to be. So we're starting with these lines here, trying to work out exactly where they're going to go. But of course, we're going to come back and thicken up some lines and really create some interesting dark shadows with just our line art, because I think that is super cool and fun. And so yeah, Gandalf is coming together here. He's got his arm, he's got his cloak. His staff is moving onto the page. We're gonna thicken up a bunch of lines here because I, like I said before, I like that deep dark shadow. And even though Gandalf is not deep or dark, he is wonderful. We gotta get him that good look. And I think we're just about ready to uh, get to the dad joke, bad joke. Welcome to the dad joke, bad joke. My dad sends me a joke every single day in WhatsApp and I collect a bunch of them so I can share them with you. And today we've collected a bunch of wizard jokes. And so our first one is this. What kind of wizard can jump higher than a mountain? The answer is in fact, all of them because mountains don't jump. That's right. What kind of wizard can jump higher than a mountain? All of them because mountains don't jump. And that's been our dad joke, bad joke. And last but not least, we need to get some color on our Gandalf here. I use the fill tool to help get our colors in nicely. There's a lot of nothingness to the color of Gandalf, right? It's Gandalf the gray, not Gandalf the rainbow. And so there's a lot of grays here. I experiment with a few different tones of gray, a dark gray, a light gray, all the colors of the gray rainbow. And of course he has a gray beard. And uh, yeah, we just whoop that head together. And uh, it's time for us to get some shadows on here. Now I use a multiply layer with a little bit of blue to get in here. I put the opacity down and just sort of fill in uh, some lovely shapes to make this sort of work. As you can see here, we've got a pretty good basis for our shadow, which means it's time for us to hit up some highlights. I use the color picker tool and, you know, adjust it to a little bit lighter and bing, bang, boom. We've got all the color on our Gandalf. Let's check out the final reveal. And there we go, we've drawn our Gandalf. Isn't he majestic and wonderful? And this is the first of many Gandalfs. Let's put him into scene with um, the Balrog preparing to fight. And maybe we can conjure up a few more Gandalfs this week from other universes to help us defeat the Balrog without dying. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler alert, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yes, our next one is Adventure Time. Come grab your friends. That's right, tomorrow we're going to Distant Lands and we will be drawing Gandalf as if he was from Adventure Time. You can give that a try on your own uh, or just check out what I do tomorrow. Uh, same time, same place, and my sketchy habit. Don't forget as well, we have a daily art prompt and today's is Whimsical Penguin. That's right, we're doing a Whimsical Penguin. Um, check it out, we have a space here. Ta-da! And it's an art gallery, because you know, all the best art goes in the art gallery. And I would love to share your art. Uh, I'll also share what I did with the daily prompt uh, as time goes forward. But for now, I didn't have anything. So here's a picture of me dressed as Colonel Sanders when I was like 17 years old, because it was an ironic Halloween costume. It's the best I had for today. I would love to see your art though, either the daily prompt or something you've done similar to I've done with the art challenges or just something you've drawn on your own. I would love to see it. So jump in the Discord, share your art there. Uh, we would love to see it. We're art positive and uh, there's no shame in your daily habit. That said, we're just about to wrap up. And as you know, the most important thing about my sketchy habit is don't tell anyone about our sketchy habit. That's between you and me. And with that, keeping awesome friends and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.